This small playing field is supposed to be a Martian landscape. The bots awkwardly grasp boxes of medical supplies and food and drop them off in a bin opposite the controller as long as no one gets in the way. You put your robot in front of their robot, but you cannot hit the robot or do anything to their robot. You can just sit in front of them and block them for coming to the bins. These are some of the finalists of the regional best robotics contest. They represent a mixture of six public, private, and home schools. They were each given a box of parts in September and had to make a robot with certain weight and size specifications. In an age of digital design, you can forget trial and error. We drew it all out, all on computers, and then we had somebody put it in a computer-aided drafting and design program, which is just having that whole robot on the computer where it can move. Well, it's not like these things come with instructions. Everybody's got to design their own. I'm actually operating the one called Hermes down there, and I'm going to try to pick up a box. It's really tricky, almost like operating a remote control car. It's a lot more challenging because you have a lot more motions to deal with and you have other robots in the way and it's a lot more sensitive and fragile than a remote control car. The competition continues off the fake Martian battlefield. Each team puts together a marketing and PR proposal for their machine. The contest is designed to teach kids all aspects of engineering. Brainstorm, and then you draw the prototypes, and then you design prototypes, you test them, and you get the final product.